Mel C. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. Hey y'all, it's Debbie and Elsie. So one of our favorite dishes is Italian. And it is Italian day again. Again. Yep. <laughs> we're not Italian, by the way. But we love Italian. So we are doing a chicken penne garlic oil dish that is created in DC and New York City in Times Square at Carmine's Family Restaurant. And it's Italian, it's family style. And we, every time we go there, we always order this dish and the porterhouse too. Their porterhouse, I kid you not, is this big. It's humongous. And then it has like potatoes and, and wow. carrots around it and everything. Oh my God. Sinful, I say, sinful. Their lasagna is really good too. But we're, let me stay on track here. My ADD is kicking in. I <laughs> love this dish. I can't have any tomato products. So this is my alternative to an Italian dish. And it's our take on what Carmen's would be creating. And follow us to the stove. We're going to get started. Go ahead and get started on the stove top here. This is going to cook on a boiling heat for 11 to 12 minutes until it is tender. And these are the penne noodles. And uh, we will show you what it looks like when we get ready to drain it. And then we get to start on our chicken and all our seasonings going into the chicken. It's going to be good, y'all. Lots of garlic, lots of parsley, fresh parsley and fresh basil. It's gonna be so hey, good. I'm back and I'm going to go ahead and do something to help make my chicken cook quicker. So I have two pieces of wax paper here and I'm going to put my chicken tenders out on the wax paper and I'm going to do it with the mallet. Now I'm not going to do it with the, either one of these sides. I'm going to do it with the side because I don't want a lot of holes in my meat. I have about two and a half pounds of chicken here, but what I'm going to give you the recipe for is one pound. So we'll just have a little extra chicken. All right, I'm gonna lay this down here. Make sure that your surface is clean beforehand and definitely disinfect it afterwards. You don't wanna transfer salmonella to other food. This will make it so much easier to fry. All right, look at that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put some olive oil in my skillet, get it cranking, start getting this cooked and then we will saute our garlic and then we'll start adding in all those other lovely seasonings so follow hey y'all so i just poured in a little bit of my olive oil here i still have extras left because i have to mix it in with the rest of my ingredients but i'm going to go ahead and start pan searing our chicken here i've got lots of chicken so this is going to take a few minutes to do so you just follow right along and we'll get these cooked up. Ready for dinner. And while these get started here with cooking in the pan, I'm just gonna go ahead and season it with a little salt and pepper. And we'll flip it over here shortly. Season the other side. 
Hey y'all, so our noodles are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain these and set these aside because we're gonna be adding that into this here shortly. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over because this is starting to get a little brown on it. I'm starting to sear this up. This cook until the temperature is 165. And then we'll remove it and continue to cook the rest of it. Then we'll start with our garlic and all our cheeses and our mixture and our seasoning. It's going to be so good, y'all. Okay, I am going to turn my heat down just a little bit so I don't get burnt here. And I'm going to remove my chicken. And I'm gonna add in more chicken here in just a couple minutes. I have a temperature on this of 165 to 170, which is perfect, that's what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead, I am gonna add a little, little bit of olive oil in here. And I have one of these little splatter devices to keep it from spitting all over me so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to season these sprinkle some salt and pepper We're going to cook it about five to six minutes on each side until the temperature is 165. Okay, so our chicken is out of our skillet. And I'm going to go ahead and just add in the garlic. Now I'm only going to cook this for about a minute because I truly do not want this to burn because there's nothing that stinks worse <laughs> than burnt garlic and that's the God honest truth. Alright, so we're going to let this cook for one minute and then we're going to start adding in our other ingredients. And I actually have this at a low heat because that chicken really got carried away. Now this is fresh basil and fresh parsley. I'm probably gonna have to add a little bit more of the olive oil in here because this is soaking it up pretty well. All right. All right, smells so good. All right, so I'm going to actually add in about two cups of my chicken stock and I'm going to raise up my heat to high. I'm gonna let it start to boil. Hey y'all, so I'm just gonna add in the last of my 
cotton stock and I think I'm going to add in probably about another quarter yep of the olive oil and I'm going to season this with what remains of the salt and pepper I had one teaspoon each and we'll go ahead and let this come to a boil again and then we'll add in our chicken and our cheese and the very last step we're going to do is we're going to pour it into our pasta stir it together and then we'll sprinkle it with some bread hey so I turned my temperature down to about I put it down low so I'm just gonna go ahead and stir this in here then I'm going to add my chicken back in. And then we're going to pour it over our noodles. This is some kind of good, y'all. You remember back when you were a kid and your parents used to get the big pot out and you knew you were going to be eating it for three days this is going to be one of those meals I'm going to be eating this for days oh my gosh this is good and I'm going to pour that chicken juice right back into here we're just going to let this simmer for about another 10 to 15 minutes And then we're going to pour it over our noodles and then we'll put the breadcrumbs on and they'll be ready for serving for dinner. It's going to be so good, y'all. Hey, y'all. So I have went ahead and uh, simmered as long as I could because it's so good and I didn't want to keep everybody waiting for dinner. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put my chicken in and then I'm because that's the heaviest part of this whole dish here is the chicken and then I'm going to then I'm going to uh, pour in my liquid over top of our noodles and mix it together and then I'm going to sprinkle it with breadcrumbs also make sure that you save some of your pasta water because that's just flavor that's all that is because it's got the salt in it and it's going to pick up all the taste of this oh my goodness that looks good Sprinkle that with the, the breadcrumbs here. All right, guys. So good. Woo, doggy, that's going to be good. All right, guys. We will see you in our next video, and you have a blessed one. And I'm Debbie. And we're, we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. 
please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.